Hey everyone, Regal Reviews here. It's time for my The Good Doctor recap. So to recap on tonight's episode, there was two patients like there usually is. The first one um, was admitted because he had a stroke and apparently he's had um, he's had strokes in the past. And the wife is unsure what to do with his situation because Claire wants to perform this surgery but the surgery will either leave him with minimal to major brain damage or could kill him and she says that her husband took a while to recover from his last stroke and he didn't want to be he wanted to basically have like a good quality of life like if something like that ever happened to him again so she said she doesn't want to do the surgery. And Sean suggests that maybe she's lying, like, because of her behavior patterns he's picking up, suggesting that maybe she's lying because he said that if you love someone, you'll do anything you do. You, do, you, would, yeah, you would do everything you can to save them. And I agree with Sean. I think he was right with that statement. And... When Claire goes to check on her, Sean, Sean was right in the sense that she was, 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 um, lying, but not for what originally thought. Apparently Claire found out that she's a domestic violence victim and Claire kind of bonds with her because of what happened with her and Coyle. And she said that she didn't, she was like debating back and forth, like to let him die or let him live. And he, she decided, you know, let him, to let him live. Saying she tried to like make excuses for him saying that he's a good father. But Claire said that, you know, he's not a good husband to you. And she slipped her some pamphlets on domestic violence. And they went, while Claire does surgery, she found she found out why he was back in the hospital wasn't for what they originally thought it was because that he wasn't taking his medicine his medicine as he was supposed to. So they question if maybe she tampered with his medication to in order to kill him. I mean. I think, I mean, obviously you'd have to report that, but I think, you know, if she's a domestic violence victim, I mean, she probably thought she had no way out, but it turns out actually her son, who she thought at first didn't know what was going on with her and her husband, actually knew more than he was letting on, so... They didn't confirm it, but it was heavily applied that the son tampered with the husband's medication. And we see that she actually got the courage to leave the hospital and thus leaving her husband. And I gotta say, Claire is a pretty kick-ass character. She finds out that they might bring Coyle in to do this surgery, and she thinks it's wrong after what just happened. Especially if she thinks it's wrong the fact that not only did he move to another hospital, but he got a pay raise. It's like, are you kidding me right now? And the reason why... I mean, she went to one of the board members and asked about this. Like, why is he getting... Why is he getting a pay raise? And she said that because basically because Claire's and Coyle's stories differed. I mean, of course they're going to be the stories are going to be different. Coyle's not going to admit to sexual her that he sexually harassed Claire. Nobody's going to admit that. So Claire's taking it upon herself to do a study and talk to some of Coyle's victims in the past and I would assume to possibly, you know, either protest the hospital policy or maybe to get Coyle fired and make sure he doesn't 
practice medicine, but also isn't able to harass women again. Um, the other patient was a bit interesting because she came in, I think I missed like the first two minutes. I mean, she came in, I think had some like inflammation in her lungs and she had some side pain, but her vitals were good. So they went in to do a bron bronchectomy to check and see what's going on down there and apparently the lung does make a mistake during the procedure and Sean wonders if he should report that or not because he did make a mistake and he does report him and Melendez was distracted because of what's going on with his separation from his fiance, but also because Sean was asking him questions in the OR about what was going on. So, so I think that kind of clouded his judgment. But he did make a mistake and Melendez later owned up to it. But they really could not figure out what was wrong with this patient because she kept getting side pain and then she had chest pains at one point and was fine. So they do tests on her and they find out she has um, this certain chemical in her system. And they're trying to debate like how the chemical could have got there. And Sean listed a bunch of reasons why and eliminated some of them, but then said at one point, you know, teacher, she could have been around a chemical if she's a biology teacher or whatever. And then said that she is a terrorist and could have made a weapon. I'm like, oh my God, did he really just say that? I mean, what Sean says said was wrong. I mean, it was wrong. And it made me wonder if Melendez was going to report Sean because of what happened before. Like, I would think that Melendez would have wanted to report Sean just solely because of revenge for Sean reporting him earlier, but just the fact that that was wrong. I mean, what Sean said was racist, and he actually did say that, he actually did say in front of the patient, at first implied that, she made chemicals because she could be a terrorist and she was surprised to hear that coming from Sean because she thinks that he deals with bias on a daily basis and it's true we as people with Asperger's we deal with judgment and bias on a daily basis so she expected better from Sean and she said that she gets looks all the time gets spit on and they worry about her going on a plane just because they think the color of her skin she, and religion she might be a terrorist and that's really sad and Melinda's actually not Melinda's Sean actually said it in front of her then oh it's because you're a terrorist and he found out that he was wrong and I definitely feel like you know Sean also made a mistake and he also should have been report should have been reported just so he knows I mean he he didn't know he was being, he didn't know he was being racist, but he should be told about that so he can correct that behavior and not say that again. And it was quite frustrating this episode seeing what um, Sean was going through because he goes to Glassman's office and I guess they have pancakes on a certain day. And Glassman said that he had a console and he couldn't make it and he said well remember you said you wanted your own space I'm like are you freaking kidding me right now I mean you're being a freaking ass to Sean I mean if you can't make it okay fine at least tell Sean you can't make it instead of having him sit there stand around waiting for him to come the decent thing he could have done was at least tell Sean he couldn't make it and also, he went to Glassman to ask about reporting Melendez, like, if he should report him or not. And Glassman brushes him off again and says that, well, we discussed this. You're going to make your own decisions from now on. I mean, 
Sean didn't come to Glassman for him to make his decision for him. He came to him for advice. And if anybody else would have walked through that door and asked Glassman, like if Claire or Jared would have walked through the door, he Glassman would have given them advice. But because this is Sean, he's somehow like subconsciously or purposely punishing Sean because he wouldn't listen to what he said and that the fact that Sean's trying to be more independent. And then when uh, Sean goes back to Glassman's office at the end of the day, he's trying to, you know, talk about his day like normal and asks if he, you know, if he wants to go to breakfast tomorrow. I mean, he did, they did miss going to breakfast. So he's trying to, you know, say, hey, you want to go another day? And Glassman's brushing him off saying, you know, you said that you wanted space. One of the conditions for you to stay here was that I would back off. And he's being a real asshole to him. And it's so sad that Sean doesn't see that. And Sean came to the realization that Sean can maybe change his behaviors, but it's looking like Glassman's not going to change his behavior. He asks, um, he asks Glassman to be his friend. He asks him to please be his friend because he said he doesn't need a father. He needs a friend. I mean, that's understandable from what Sean's went through. He doesn't really trust people as like a father figure. Like he wants somebody as a friend and that's somebody with people with autism or Asperger's. We, what we want the most is friends but we don't definitely don't want friends like Glassman. He's asking to please be my friend very calmly. And Glassman refuses and Sean just leaves. And it makes it even more sad. The one f true friend he had is gone to Hershey. And Sean um, picks up this air freshener. And I'm thinking at first, why did he pick up a refresh that's kind of random and we see a flashback to the last two episodes when Sean was in the car with Leah and he's and that's um the air freshener reminds him of Leah so he definitely misses Leah and I think we all miss Leah Leah was a great character I definitely hope she comes back um I definitely seen progress in Sean's character because before he was hesitant to knock on the door, but he actually went to the new neighbor's house that, that were well, apartment that Leah lived in and went and introduced himself. And that's huge. I mean, when we see new people, we don't usually want to interact with them or we're very hesitant to introduce ourselves. So that was big, but yeah, I definitely think Sean still has, you know, stuff to learn. I mean, we're all learning new th things. Sean, um, def I definitely think Sean should have been told about, um, assuming that the patient was a terrorist. Again, I he didn't know he was being racist at the time, but I definitely would have thought how Melendez is to Sean. I definitely was surprised that he didn't say anything to him. And I'm actually starting to like Melendez more than Glassman. Glassman's it seemed like at first that he was going to be the most supportive person in Sean's life, but um, looks can definitely be deceiving because he's actually one of the most unsupportive people in Sean's life. So Leah definitely said it right, Glassman, the ass men. So I definitely think Sean's better without Glassman because I definitely don't think he needs him in his life. Um, next week's preview shows that there's going to be a new doctor on the f on the team and the the trailer for next week could have been trying to trick us in a way but it looks like she doesn't like Sean so you know she'll probably get along with Melinda as well saying that when Sean succeeds she loses so I'm wondering was she talking to another doctor and they just put Sean in there just to kind of trick us and get us pumped for next week or what I'm not exactly sure yet but I can't wait to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed The Good Doctor. If you guys want to check out The Good Doctor, it is on Mondays. 
10 p.m. on ABC. Until next time, stay regal.